Welcome guys. So in today's painting, we're going to be doing a uh, silhouette of a mosque in a night scene. So as you can see, I'm just spraying down with a uh, midnight blue and covering up the whole sheet. I'm just doing so in light bursts. And the reason for that is because I don't want any paint to be pulling up because that will just make things a bit messy. Just getting all the little bits that I can see here now. I think I accidentally took that in, but basically, as you can see there, I've just added the black to the night scene, so I'm gonna now blend in the, the blue and the black to make it look a bit more natural. So I can see when I kind of go for an angle and get that mist in. to get it to look like it's sort of like a midnight type look going on. Just going back over again with the black just to try and get the effect that I'm looking for here now. Adding in some stars to how I feel like I want them to be done. As you can see I'll get, I like mine to have quite a few stars in there. So what you will have missed out on is the fact that I've uh, flicked off to the side before flicking onto the sheet of paper and the reason for that is so uh, get off some of the uh, bigger splatters. I'm just using a uh, small torch that I've got to hand to help me to quickly dry the painting because I don't know about you, but I'm very impatient with waiting for drying times. Um, and if anybody's ever watched any street artists do this, you'll notice that they probably will use a can and a lighter to turn it into a flamethrower thing. That's purely for show. Really, all you really need is a hairdryer, but I don't have one long enough for a cable, so I've just got this to hand. Uh, so now I'm just using my sten uh, cloud stencil to lay in my cloud effect. As you can see, I'm just picking and choosing where I want to lay them out and set them out as uh, the way that I feel like it's the best to me. And I always like doing them at an angle. Don't know why. That's just me, but you can do them however you like. Another thing to do as well, when you're holding your stencil, make sure that you're holding it just above the painting and not directly on the painting, because if your paint is not fully dry, then it will come up with your stencil and it's not very nice. Again, just going over with my blowtorch to dry the the areas of paint that I've just done, which is obviously the uh, clouds. Again, you don't want to overdo this too much with the heat because you've got a risk of it just burning the actual art piece itself. And if you're going to do it, make sure that, again, you don't directly place the flame onto the piece of art and just have it just above. told you uh, my uh, shed is on a incline so everything just keeps falling off anyway here I'm just checking to make sure that the piece is dry enough for me to go on to the next step so that's why I was touching it got my boomstone tool pointing down my weight it's very important to make sure that you put weights down to keep the stencil in place and the reason for that is you don't want the paint to pull up underneath it because when you lift it off it'll start to bleed everywhere if you've overdone it so as you'll see now i'm just going to do it in short sharp bursts to make sure that i just get what i need covered 
and not overdo it because I've learned the hard way. It doesn't look very nice and it bleeds and just messes up the paint quite a bit. But one thing you learn in spray painting is there's always ways around fixing those mistakes. So now again I've got my stencil again. I'm going over the as I've just mentioned to you, the mistakes I've just made there, I've just gone over it again, but also I'm trying to make the uh, depth, uh, words out now guys, my depth perception going on, so it make the moon look like it's behind the clouds as well as in front of the clouds that were previously laid down, so it's nestled within the clouds. And at the same time, I'm trying to cover up the lifted areas that I've had by covering up with the clouds and once again drying my advice to you guys would be the best thing to do is just do it the natural way but which is the best way actually you know leave it there go for a little break have a cup of coffee or something come back to it take your time with it that's the best way but if you're impatient like myself then this is an easy easy win or like i said use a hair dryer or if you feel fancy then do it the flame thorough way which I wouldn't suggest in small areas like mine which is I have a very very small shed okay so now I've just got my stencil and I'm just deciding where I want to lay it down and what position I think is going to be best for where I want it to be again using weights to weigh down my stencil to again avoid any bleeding to come through So making sure I'm covering up the rest of the piece so I don't get any overspray from the stencil that I'm doing now and again as you've noticed I'm just doing it in sharp sharp bursts making sure that I'm only getting a light spray in there not letting it pool up inside the stencil which could again as I mentioned cause havoc and you know bleeding through which we don't want Another suggestion here guys is when you lift up your stencil, sorry about my head getting in the way there, use a tool of some sort to help you to lift off your stencil because using your hands is always a bit silly and messy and it is a, a bit frustrating, so, frustrating sorry, but I'm using a uh, palette knife to help me peel off my stencils. And as you can see, I've lifted off a bit of paint on my moon, but you'll see in a minute that I'm going to go and cover it up again with my cloud stencil. And I've just done this, see, no longer there. So that's the thing with spray paint art, you can easily correct mistakes when they occur. So now what I'm doing is I'm using my cloud stencil again to just go over now to make it look like itself and the moon is all within the clouds and giving it that sort of whimsical look and then putting some more stars over the top again just to give it that effect so now there's the cloud stencil from the bottom again to make it look like the cloud is uh, sorry the uh, silhouette is enveloped by the clouds and gives it that sort of as i mentioned before mystical look or Mysterious look. By the way, guys, if you've enjoyed what you've been watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Etsy as Twinkle Bee Spray Paint, a uh, spray art shop. I will put the details down below in my description. Thank you, guys, for watching.